I have here an IP uh, security camera from MaryMobiles.com. This is Mary, M-E-R-I, 3746. Uh, and this is an outdoor capable uh, camera. It's waterproof. Um, on the box you see the brand is EZN IP Camera Network Camera. Uh, down here it says PTZ, day and night, IR range, CCD. Um, on the flap here you can see surveillance solutions for motion detection alarm. Without computer, easy to operate, 30 frames per second image transmission, audio transmission synchronously, trigger alarm by motion detection. Which that's always good, that way you're not recording when things aren't happening. On this side, again, um, same information also tells the size 232 millimeters 170 millimeters by 105 millimeters this is a bigger camera now on the back here it does give the model it is FS-613A-M105 also lists the username uh, the initial setup information and uh, here it kinda tells you you know what all you could connect um, all these different cameras into your wireless uh, and how you can access it from 3G phones, remote PCs, um, several ways of watching the video. On the back of this it's got a uh, list of features, work with computer, um, pretty much all the features we already read, um, applications, completely replace CCTV, suitable for banks, supermarkets, schools, or community shops. Originally used in online exhibition of tourist attractions and products, online care for children and elders. Uh, so if you're running a daycare, it might be a nice way to do video. Also, since it's waterproof, you can put it outside. Um, so watch your front door or your backyard if you have kids playing or dogs. And let's go ahead and open it up here. Inside, find some foam. You will find a manual, and the manual does have English in it um, and Chinese. Find a software CD. This one is uh, Product Series F, Software Revision A4. Comes with a power supply. This is a uh, 12 volt, 1 milliamp power supply. Connector is a little bigger there than uh, one of the other cameras we reviewed. Uh, looks like a mounting bracket, mounting screws, and uh, articulating mount for this. And quite the cable here. We've got uh, Ethernet connection. There's also um, various video connections here. That one is listed as a reset. Oh, if you need to reset the camera. Audio. Audio. Uh, and that would be power and uh, the video. And that connects in to the camera here and uh, this is a heavy uh, camera here's also the wireless antenna which attaches to the back if I knew what I was doing there we go so it's got wireless um, you would just probably tuck the cable and this is a pretty heavy duty metal uh, casing it's and then you can see all the LEDs for the infrared and the camera there in the center. So this would be a fixed, you know, motion camera, but again, it can go outside. So if you set it up right, you got some nice security going on. Now we're going to set this aside. Just want to show you in MaryMobiles.com, Mary3746. Again, easy in Wi-Fi, waterproof, infrared, night vision, IP camera, and the model. Uh, normal price $169.99, deal of the day price, so their sale price is $71.99. Uh, it does have free shipping. And uh, down here for the specs, got a one year warranty. Uh, it's a Linux OS. Uh, compression format is ADPCM. Compression format Motion JPEG N. Uh, CMOS, 25 frames per second, although it did say 30 frames per second on the box. Uh, VGA 640 by 480 resolution. You can see the contrast. And uh, minimum illumination is 0.5 lux. Um, listed there, but there's also a minimum illumination of 0.1 lux listed here. So hard to say, but either way, very low light. Uh, this will be able to see it's got uh, its own infrared LEDs. Support an IE browser view in Chinese or English, free domain name, H.264 uh, compression format for dual stream. Wi-Fi compliant BGN 
uh, wireless and network interface um, you know 10 slash 100 and that's the specs on the website so we'll go ahead and get this connected up and do some tests thanks so this is where the outside camera is located at I've put it uh, up on the corner there and viewing out and towards the driveway This is what the video looks like through the camcorder outside. This is the video from the outdoor camera during the day. Um, and as you can see, um, because it's very bright out, it actually does have a little bit of issue with contrast. Um, you can change settings along the side here. You can set the resolution, three, uh, two different resolutions to set here. You can also change the mode from 50 hertz, 60 hertz, or outdoor. Um, because I have it outside, I have it set to outdoor. You can adjust the brightness, um, so you can try to adjust for the lighting outside. Um, I usually leave it pretty set. You can also change the contrast. And then here's the button to go into the options, configure it. So that is what it looks like uh, during the day. And this is the video from the uh, camera outside uh, at night. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, pretty good vision. Uh, it's a little little whitewashed at the moment but you can lower the brightness uh, and adjust for it or lower the uh, contrast or increase the contrast now another option for viewing the video is to use the included software that's on the CD uh, it's called multi window um, it's okay software, it gets the job done, but it's not the most user-friendly of things to use. Um, I prefer a, a phone program or a tablet program, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, so this is the, the three different cameras that I have. And you can uh, see a full screen mode, but it shows you all three. Uh, you should be able to control the pan and tilt functions from here. So as you can see, I can control left and right. Uh, it also goes up and down. You can set presets um, and do different things that way. So this software will work for you uh, for viewing the, the cameras that you have. A software that I found really great for Android, and as you know I do a lot of Android tablet reviews, uh, is this IP Cam Viewer. There's a light version and a Pro. The light is free, but the Pro gives you more options. Uh, it's $3.99 in the market. And uh, as you can see in description, it gives uh, a lot of details um, and a lot of options and features. And I've got it installed on my phone here. <coughs> And as you can see, I've got it set up with the three cameras all simultaneous. And if I want, I can click on one and go to just that one individual. Now this is the uh, internal fixed camera. This is uh, currently with the lights off, so it's running on infrared. You can take uh, pictures up here or uh, go back to the manage the three cameras. And then this is the pan and tilt one. And if you double click and go into it, you can actually go and control the uh, pan and tilt functions from the camera. And again, you can take snapshots or uh, different video feeds that way, adjust the brightness. Um, <clears throat> you can also turn on uh, the listening if you want to listen and turn on a microphone uh, if you want to talk through the camera. And then this is the outdoor camera. So it really is a great, great software. You can set up the same cameras multiple times if you need to set internal or external feeds. And now these cameras don't have zoom on them by default, but what you can do is by using the software, if you go into it, you can actually just pinch and zoom in the software and that would give you uh, zoom functions for the cameras, which you otherwise wouldn't have. So for instance on here, it's nice, I can zoom in and see, you know, right there and in. So it's really great software and a great option if you're going to have these cameras, particularly if you have multiple cameras, having this multi-view mode uh, is really handy. So that is the review of the security camera. Um, as I said, you can get all of these from MaryMobiles.com. They also carry a lot of other products like tablets, uh, watches, pretty much everything. And I just want to show you one more thing on the, uh, the app for the phone here. Is you can uh, go in and you can manage the cameras. And you can turn on, let's say I have up to six cameras. Now when I go to my multi-pane view, it'll show me all six cameras on the one screen. So again, the cameras are really great. Uh, the prices are right for them uh, at MaryMobiles.com. And I think they're, they're great buys and great to check out and see what you like. Uh, so head on over to MaryMobiles and check them out. Thanks.
So this is the configuration portion of the video. And so what you need, uh, you've got your camera right now, I'm using the external one here. And you'll need to plug it into the network, to your network. Uh, I've got a network plug just on the back there. And you just plug that in and also plug it into power. And then what you'll need from here is you'll need your box. And on the box, there is that label that we saw earlier. Um, and it gives you uh, admin for the username, password is none. Gives you an IP address, which is 192.168.1.126 uh, colon 81. It also gives you the remote access information, which I blocked off on mine here uh, for security reasons. But that allows you to access it outside of the house. And we'll get to all that. So once you've got that information, uh, and you've got it plugged into your network, and your network's also on the 192.168.1.1 kind of subnet, just go into a browser, type in 192.168.1.126 colon 81. You might have to also put um, HTTP colon in front of it. But if you hit enter, it brings you to the initial screen for the camera. And I'm using Chrome right now for the browser, so I'm going to click the server push mode for Firefox and Google browser. Click sign in. And as you can see, it's showing you know the video as it stands right now. I've got the resolution at 640 by 480. Uh, what you want to do is click the little button over here. It's the settings. This brings you into the options for the camera. Now this is where you get to actually configure the device. So it gives you the initial device ID, um, you know the firmware version, IP camera. You can set the language here. Uh, you can see the different language options. And then the alias settings, this is where you can name it. Um, I'm going to call this one exterior fixed. And every time you uh, change a setting, you hit set, it takes about 30 seconds for it to, uh, to reset. So I'm going to set these, and then we're going to jump forward on those portions. Actually, that one did not require. Date and time, this is where you can set um, your date and time. I am on Eastern. So I'll click Eastern and click Set. Good. User settings. Now this is where you can set up your own uh, logins and passwords, and you can also give different access rights. So for now, we've got the admin account. I'm just going to set a password of password for the time being. Um, so that way, at least it has a password. And then if you wanted to give other people access, you could set a guest. We'll do a password of guest for that one. And you can select um, visitor, operator, or administrator. With administrator, they have full access. With operator, if it's like a pan and tilt, they can tilt it. Uh, with visitor, it's just viewing. They can just come and see the camera. That's it. So we're going to click set on that, and now it wants the new password. And as you can see, it's doing its 30 second reboot. So Okay, it's back. Now comes the important part, basic network settings. This is where you can set up the IP address and information. You can use the obtain IP from DHCP server if you prefer, or you can just manually set it so that way you know what the IP address is. So here you can change that information, change your, you know, all the information. You can also change the HTT port. Now if you have multiple cameras, you have to set different HTTP ports uh, so that they can all work externally. So you can increment it, you can you know, pick random port numbers, but you do need to change that if you have multiple cameras so that they can all be accessed externally. So once you do that, you hit set, and it will do, again, a 30-second uh, reset. Then you can go into the wireless settings. You can hit scan, but I've not found the scan to do, you know, it didn't pull up any list. So it's better to just use wireless LAN, type in your uh, network name, you know, and the network type is most likely infrastructure. And then if you have encryption on it, set your encryption, set your password, and then click set. And that will enable the wireless. And again, it will do a 30 second reboot. Um, if you have ADSL, you can do settings here, universal plug and play. Um, usually it depends on how network savvy you are, but if you want to access this outside of your home network, Go ahead and click the checkbox for using Universal Plug and Play to map the port. Um, DDNS service settings. Now this is an important area. This is where you actually can set up the access externally. Now I've blocked out my user um, name here and uh, that information, but it does give you a drop down list of options to select, um, but I couldn't get any of the other ones to work so I just left it with the standard IP cam. Uh, the DDNS user is your domain name, so you would use that name dot ipcam dot hk and the port um, 808 and that way you could actually log in and the password is on the box as well that you use um, for this portion you can also set up mail service settings so that it can email you when there's motion or different information that way FTP settings um, so it can back up images automatically um, to an external FTP server for security alarm service settings this is where you can do motion detect armed or alarm input armed um, then there's a log and maintenance. And this is where you can reboot the device or uh, restore factory settings, upgrade the firmware if you can find a firmware upgrade or the user interface. Uh, once you're done with all of that, you now should have a working camera. You can access it by whatever IP address you've set and the port number. And then you can control it over here. And some cameras will have different controls. Some can pan and tilt. This one's just a fixed, but you can also adjust the, uh, the brightness of it and uh, the contrast. So that's the configuration portion.